Well, uh, good morning as I talk about this plant here in front of me. Number one choice for uh, alternative toilet paper in a pandemic is lamb's ear, stacky byzantine or byzantine. Uh, and that's this plant that's all in front of me, the silvery, uh, real fuzzy plant. And as I'm out here in the morning, uh, it's quite beautiful as it, the water droplets, the dew that is gathered on it has really started to shine in the sunlight. And so uh, I'm just enjoying being out here with it. As you can see, very low growing plant. Uh, just 18 inches high. Uh, this was probably originally just one or two plants and now it's spread out uh, to well over uh, five foot wide. And so uh, it does spread. And so many gardeners will actually kind of rip up uh, the lamb's ear as it kind of spreads too much to keep it in the area that they want it into. Not an aggressive spreader like uh, maybe some ground cover type vines. And we, and we even think about this as a full sun ground cover it likes good drainage. It can handle a variety of conditions. Uh, and you can see several of the blooms still left on here. That happened. It's July, uh, beginning of July now. This, that happened several months ago that the lambs here was really in full bloom. Uh, and they're very long, uh, tall blooms uh, with little pom-poms of blooms that go up and down them. Uh, actually, people collect those and they make wreaths out of them sometime, which can be kind of interesting. Uh, so lamb's ear, stackies, uh, there's a lot of different cultivars, some with bigger leaves, some with very small leaves that you can choose from, even really micro mini type leaves uh, that are available on the market. Uh, but a great full sun ground cover, uh, easy to recognize by its real fuzzy leaf, uh, great for children's garden, a great plant for the home landscape. So here again we are with stackies or lamb's ear. This is hardy from zones four through eight. Uh, just getting 12 to 18 inches high, uh, spreading out over time to qu quite large clumps. And here's a landscape tip for this plant. Plant in very well-drained soil, containers or on hills in humid areas to avoid leaf rot. Very useful for special effect in the landscape. 